Radio is all about calling up what it is that you that you want to manifest rather than calling in. And what I mean about that is if you are calling something in, essentially you're saying to the universe and to the multiverse, I don't have it yet. So I want to call it in. Same as when you're channeling your guides. Don't call them in, call them up because we are in divine union. We are in oneness wisdom, oneness consciousness. So if we're in oneness, you already have it. So it's a case of knowing, like really knowing that what you are are wanting to manifest, you've already got, you've already got. It's always about the present moment. So for example, I'm going to give you my pathways of when I manifested the tour and how I work with calling the right beings in basically in alignment. I could look at it and I could actually go into my energy space and say, right, okay, visualizing when I'm in the future at the hotel lobby in Egypt and I'm visualizing everybody's turned up and there's lots of people there and we're all aligned and we're all soul family and I'm visualizing like, you know, next year or whatever or next month, but it's still separate of me. So I need to actually take that one step back and instead go into the feeling, not of what's, what is it going to feel like when I get there next month and those, those beings have arrived rather than like feel like, what does it feel like when, when you've already got it? What does it feel like that, that, that tour and all of us meeting up in Egypt, what if that's already happened? And it's already happening on another timeline anyway. I just need to tap into that rather than waiting here because it's not happening now. So I'm going to manifest it because it's going to happen just now. That separation. And that is such a fine line when it comes to this kind of thing, because you kind of think you're doing the right thing, but it's not a separation. So you see the difference. Another analogy I can bring to you, which is really powerful and very basic because I work with it all the time. Imagine what it feels like when you order your food at a restaurant. You're having a nice time with your friend. You're talking. The waitress comes. You say, please, can I have a veggie burger and some chips or whatever it is? And they go, no problem. Thanks very much. She goes off. That's done. You carry on focusing with your friend, knowing that you can have a lovely meal just now, but you're not worried about it. It's it's done. Do you get up from your seat and say, just hang on a second and follow the waitress into the kitchen and stand over the chef while he's flipping your burger just to make sure the chips get done because it might not come? You don't do that, do you? Because you trust and you know that you've put your order in. You know that she's going to be fine with that. She's going to place it in with the, with the chef. All is going to be well and it will be delivered. It's no surprise when it turns up because you knew you already have had it. Now, this is the thing. Every single moment of your life you are manifesting. You might sit there and go, do you know what? I really, really need a new sweatshirt because it's cold. Let me get up from my desk later on. I'll go to the bank, get some money out and I'll go and get that sweatshirt. And then by the evening, you're wearing a sweatshirt. But in the morning, it was a thought. It was an idea. And you manifested it. That's a, it's no different to you manifesting a, an attendance on an Egypt tour or even creating your own Egypt tour yourself. It's no different. It's the same frequency and energy. But because our mind gets involved and says, oh, no, that's way too big for you. There's no chance you're going to be able to do that straight away. It diminishes. So so there's no difference to you manifesting a sweatshirt to actually manifesting a tour. It's just your mind that tells you this is really scary. This is really big. This is probably not doable. It's all energy. This is all energy. There's no there's no difference. Frequency is frequency, you know? So this is a very, very important thing to bring into your being. So now I ask you to go into that feeling because feeling is so important. What does it feel like when you have that experience? What does it feel like to know that your order is in? What does it feel like to know that you've ordered your books from Amazon and they're on the way because you've got an email, everything's fine. No need need for you to fuss about it. They're going to come. What does that security and comfort and deep knowing in your system and in your energy feel like? So this is one little exercise that I need you to go into. So you might want to pause the video here and feel it out and do something like, okay, so that security that you know that you're being taken care of and all is well because you've handed it over to the waitress, which essentially is your guides, is source, is spirit, the universe, no different. Um, So, you know, you've handed it over. So you know that they've got your back. You know that. So I want you to go into that feeling because I want you to kind of really anchor it into your system as a default. 
Because that feeling, and I even as I speak about it, I feel like a warmness in my tummy. That feeling is exactly what it feels like when you manifest the money to go to Egypt. Feel that you've already got it. Feel, imagine whatever you want. Feel that there's somewhere in a bank account, shed loads of money, and it's got your name on the account holder slip. You know, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, energy like that will come into matter, actually, talking about matter. So that's a very powerful tool. And we're going really basic here. Manifestation isn't a big thing. It's about feeling. So when you feel good, you will bring bring what it is to you. You magnetize, okay? So it just naturally unlocks from you and you magnetize, okay, when you feel good. But the important thing in this process is knowing when to let it go, not following the waitress in to her kitchen. Once you have asked the universe once, you've been answered. That's the difficult part to be able to trust and let it go. Now, during this process, you might find, oh, I'm holding on to that. I can't let it go. I'm still faffing around with it. Then go into the meditation that, that, that I've shared with this process. Go into that and then start to transmute doubt into trust. Each time you go through your manifestation process that I'm sharing with you, you are going to feel triggers of things coming up and you're going to go, oh, there's another sticky point. Oh, impatience is coming up. Oh, that's interesting. Turning in impatience into, um, into detachment. Control is the biggest one. Control, the opposite of control is freedom. It is. You're letting go. Freedom. So can you relinquish control? Can you transform and transmute control into freedom, back into your energy field, and then step back into your process of manifestation. That is how you're going to vibe with this. You're going to keep going through up trigger, clear, up trigger, clear, until there's nothing else to clear. And you're now starting to get into it, you know? Now, you may want to play with this manifestation process, maybe not something as big as, as, as tablets of light. Maybe you're going to benefit from working with something which is more doable. Like, for example, you want to manifest 100 bucks or you're going to manifest, um, you know, a hot date with someone or something like that. Something that maybe your mind can get on board with, because there is no point in actually putting something out there which you're not ready to believe is possible because then you kind of cut yourself off at the legs. You'll get there eventually, but you see what I'm saying? It's about you being discerning, okay? And easing yourself into this gently because you don't want to go into this and then create more failure energy. And you know what? If you do, do the meditation. And this is what's so beautiful about this is you've got the meditation, clear the, clear the blocks, you're in control in a good way. You're driving this, this, this thing. You are empowered. This is a very positive form of control because it means that you are in control of the manifestation, the alchemy energy in every single moment, right? So patience, patience is the biggest thing here. It takes time for them to manifest and bring it to you. Patience is the biggest eroder of trust. Think about that. Patience is the biggest erosion, maybe that's a better word, of trust, yeah? Um, patience is the biggest erosion of creation as well. Sorry, impatience. Did I say that? Anyway, but you, you understand what I'm saying. So it's really being vigilant and like, you know, really going, oh my God, you're going to learn so much about yourself through this process. So it's about getting everything in alignment with the feeling. So bring whatever visualizations you need to bring in when you know that you have that comfort within that everything is going to be, be fine. Everything is on track. Now apply that to your visualization of here's my money coming for the tour or whatever it might be, then that starts to match this. So I hope that makes um, some sense because at the end of the day, manifestation is all about how you feel, 100%. And I had this for years. I was the smallest starseed being. I couldn't have got any smaller. I crawled into myself and then some. And, you know, I used to sit there and go, please, can I have this? No. Nope. And then I got a bit confident and I was like, I'm manifesting this. And still in my heart, I was just like, you don't deserve that. There's no way that you're going to be able to make that happen. So it didn't match. So the most important thing is getting the mind, the ego mind, which is a brilliant, powerful manifestation tool, very empowered working with the heart. But it's the heart that's leading the way, how you feel. And it's the head that is basically 
enforcing that and sending that out into the spirit world that this is this is what she's thinking. She's thinking good vibes. This is your new heart brain. Good vibes. Okay. Now that is it. And that is all. So kind of marinate with that as well. Get your emotions right. Use the meditation. That meditation is key all the way through. Good luck, young Skywalker. May the force be with you. 